Chronicle. Welcome to Chronicle. Commercial passenger flight so run-of-the-mill. Mm -hmm. We're taking off for the rare and unusual instead. And for starters, a great big balloon attached to a very small motor, otherwise known as a blimp. It takes a team effort to get the hood blimp off the ground and over the many team efforts where it appears in New England. We are given a rare gondola view to watch this amazing operation. Pilot Matt Backlin powers up the blimp's small engines as his team guides the 120-foot-long airship away from the mast that keeps it grounded at the Beverly Airport. Using hand signals, the team moves the blimp into takeoff position. There's a lot of parallels between airships and boats because you have a relatively high inertia. Once you put a rudder input in, it's like a boat. If you're going at slow speed, it takes a while for the thing to react. If you're going at high speed, it reacts almost instantaneously. So you have to anticipate the movements uh, of the machine. The thing will behave uh, like it's some of three-dimensional waves. You know, it goes up and down, left and right, a little bit on, on, on its own accord. Sounds a little bit nauseating, but with that, we are off. Dating back to the mid-1800s, airships are essentials until airplanes began to rule the skies. Modern versions like the Hood Blimp use compressed helium for lift, having replaced the much more volatile hydrogen. And these modern versions are used for very specific purposes. An airship is unique in many respects because it can fly for long periods of time with fairly low fuel consumption and fairly low noise footprint. So it's an ideal platform for primarily filming these days, taking pictures, uh, taking films of uh, events. On top of that is also a good advertising billboard. You can put your name in front of the masses. Hood has been doing just that since 1996 over Sox games, Patriots games, concerts and other events. The Hood logo is draped over the blimp and a high definition gyro stabilized camera is mounted to the gondola. Contrary to popular belief, Hood does not actually own the blimp, but charters it for summer visits to New England. Our ride takes us over the north shore of Massachusetts, above the Crane Estate, Ipswich, Gloucester, Marblehead, and more, before returning to Beverly Airport, where the blimp lands and is caught by the ground crew. Pilot Matt Backlin loves his bird's eye views and appreciates the iconic status of the Hood brand. But knowing the blimp's limitations, he offers this bit of tongue-in-cheek advice. We picked this airship up from a previous contract over on the west coast and it took us about a month to get here. If you want to get somewhere, uh, I'd say take it. And technically, the Hood Blimp is not only an airship, but a light ship, because it can be illuminated from the inside out to 1,000-watt bulbs inside. Do that, and we've all, of course, seen that over events right. at night. And it's also fuel efficient, right? It can stay up, what, six hours at It a can time? stay up six hours at a time, but more so, it uses less fuel in two weeks than it takes a 747 just to taxi to the <laughs> runway. So, yes, very fuel efficient, not very fast. Not very fast, <laughs> but very unique. Love it. And never a dull phone from a thousand feet up. The colors that come up are just fantastic. That again, when you're standing on the beach, you don't really see.